Welcome back, friends. Okay, so we all know the big game took place yesterday. It did? It, how did you miss it? You're even wearing the winners. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, and we know the Chiefs took home the big trophy. And as much as I love the Chiefs taking home the gold, I have to give more credit to the best big brother in the world, Jason Kelsey. I mean, he is just a showstopper, if we can call him that. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles star made uh, sure to show up and show out during his time in Las Vegas. He wore the exact same attire as the actor Zach Galifianakis' character, Alan, from the 2008 comedy The Hangover. And I mean, it went viral on social media. Why wouldn't it? Here's a look at his attire. So this is him recreating it. And then I have a comparison to what Alan wore in the actual movie. I mean, yeah. It's spot on. It is spot same on. shirt, same little satchel, everything. This was all over social. I love it. Okay. I, I, I love, love it. it. Yes. So, I mean, similarities are uncanny. And I have a feeling that if Jason Kelsey does retire, because we did talk about it, mm -hmm. he's kind of the, he's in between, if he will, if he won't. Um, he can have a full-fledged career in being an internet meme. Whatever he puts on. It's gonna go viral. Uh, the Kelsey family was also joined by Jason's wife, Kylie Kelsey, Taylor's dad, Scott Swift. And you know how I said that I was thinking there might be a proposal if the Chiefs won? Well, that didn't happen. But Scott Swift, Scott Swift was there, which makes me think. He has permission. He has permission. Mm, which, nailed it. Which could lead to a wedding. Who knows? But also uh, actress Blake Lively uh, was there joining behind her hair. <laughs> Her I hair, was behind her hair. Yeah, but. behind her hair. And then singer Ice Spice as well. Um, okay, so let's move on to some eyebrow raising royal antics. The King of England, um, Charles, King, King Charles III, uh, was di recently diagnosed with uh, cancer, and Buckingham Palace made an official announcement about it on February 5th, um, and following treatment, uh, following his treatment, excuse me, for benign prostate enlargement. Now. Here's where the eyebrows begin to raise, okay? Stick with me. His youngest son, Prince Harry, who we all know has had a, a troubled relationship with the royal family since he and Meghan Markle got married, decided to step down from their royal titles, moved away from the UK to Montecito, California. Well, he recently visited his father, but only for 30 minutes. Now, a leading royal expert suggested that a longer meeting was avoided to stop the monarch having unneeded stress. Writer and broadcaster uh, Robert Jobson said the king needed peace and quiet. He told the outlet The Sun, quote, you don't want his blood pressure going up. The king's not very well. Whatever type of cancer it is, he's undergoing treatment. The best thing for him is calm. After the initial kiss and hug, love you, Dad, hope you get better soon. What issues are going to get raised? Things that will get your blood pressure rising. So, Jeremy, <clears throat> here's the thing, and I think you might agree with me. If my father was ill, I would want to spend more than 30 minutes with him, whether he be sleeping, relaxed, calm, but to really like cut it off at 30 minutes, I mean, what, what are your thoughts? Well, here's the thing, as the station's unofficial royal expert. Yes. <laughs> there's one thing I've learned from following the monarchy all these years, the mm -hmm. crown comes first. If you watch the TV show, The Crown, mm -hmm. the crown, the monarchy comes first. All of Elizabeth's children had to have appointments to even see their mother. So if you wanna have, talk to your mom, you have to call and make an appointment. And there would be several times where the queen would be like, the, the, her secretary would be like, she has no time in her schedule. Schedule. Just schedule. You'd always have to make appointments. I do believe that because of the bad blood, that any of a longer meeting, Harry could take that information, tell his wife, and they could go public with it because there's a lack of trust right now because of his book, right. the Netflix show, the podcast. There's a lack of trust. So, and again, I don't know how, my more eyebrow raising question is, how severe is the cancer and where is it? What kind? That's, and, and that is what a lot of people um, on TikTok, you know, there are conspiracy theories about how, I guess it's not conspiracy theory, but there are theories about how soon he may pass and then the crown gets handed down to William. Do you think it's that bad? Well, I mean, I he he went in for enlarged prostate and then it, all of a sudden he's got cancer. So hmm. it just, it worries me, but- It's um, very sus. Right, it's very suspicious. As the kids would say. As the kids would say. So but yeah, I do agree though with, with meeting with royals. I mean, it's so like by, it's so weird. It's unlike our families. Like right. of course would go, and spend weeks with your dad in St. Louis. Absolutely. As I would do in Dallas. Yes. It's so weird you fly across the world for 30 minutes. For that, 30 minutes. I don't minutes. understand that type of family dynamic. I'm I, sorry. I know. I Well, no, I agree with you completely.
Okay, so to round out this week's edition of What the Hollywood, we have to talk about the movie trailers that made their debut on Big Game Sunday. First and foremost, the first look for Wicked, the Broadway musical turned movie, shows Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande as Elphaba and Galinda. Let's take a look. The best way to bring folks together Something has changed within is to give them a real good enemy. <laughs> You're green. I am. Something is not the same. Something just takes over me. And when it does, bad things happen. Once you learn to harness your emotions, the sky's the limit. So part one of Wicked hits theaters on November 27th and the following year, yes, 365 days, part <laughs> Wait, two comes out. Count them out. <laughs> 360, count them out. Um, that comes out uh, the following year. But I have thoughts about this because the theatrical production is done in what, four hours? So why is the no, movie- two hours. Two hours. Two hours. See, I'm, thank you, I stand corrected. Why is the movie spanning over a year? Anyways, I digress. Other movies making their debut this year include uh, Deadpool and Wolverine featuring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Twisters, which I was very surprised by, starring Glenn Powell. You may know him from Top Gun Maverick, very cute. And uh, The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling, Despicable Me 4, among multiple other films. So I feel like our good friend Chris Luzader is gonna have a lot to talk about this coming year. And where you were correct is they're turning a two-hour show into a four-hour movie. There we go. Four-hour movie. That's what they're doing. Spanning across 365 days. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Don't get However, me started. However, Ariana Grande looks amazing. Cynthia Revo looks amazing. I just, um, I'm interested to... I'm holding off reservations until I see I will see it. But as a musical theater major and musical theater... Yes. Like, that's... I, I'm leery. I'm just being... I'm just going to be honest. I'm cautiously yeah. optimistic, but... Ca yeah, cautiously optimistic, and but... Leery. Like I said, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 4, I've only seen the first one. I didn't even know there were four movies, but the trailer looked so hilarious. I mean, Kristen Wiig, Steve Carell, uh, all-star cast. Never so. saw any of them, so I don't care. I well, really we need to change that. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't even care right now. I just don't even care right now. All, all right, right, you guys. Well, that's all I've got for this week's What the Hollywood. But um, definitely weigh in on Facebook once we post this on our page about the royals. Is it suspicious? King Charles. And also, what? let us know if you're glad that Cynthia Revo took out the nose ring. Yes! I'm so glad, guys. All right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM, including some birthday surprises for Angry Charlie, who has arrived and is extremely angry at the moment. He, Tom, he said he was angry at the snow. I love surprises. What? We'll be back. Surprise, surprise. Oh, there he is.